prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. When God's servants speak forth, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18.22 God is still saying something. During a Sunday live service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua gave a call to pray for the longest serving president of an Arab nation in Africa. These were his words. The longest service president in an Arab nation in Africa. Pray for him. In another Sunday live service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua prophesied further concerning this world leader. He said that he saw the leader resign due to pressure and for his protection. These were his words. I have with me here prophetic messages for the whole world, different countries as the Lord showed. There are some that are very, very encouraging to strengthen our desire, and some that with God, all things are possible. I'm seeing a leader resign because of pressure mounted on him and for his protection. I'm seeing protest, protest. I'm seeing protest. Pray for the nation. People have been arrested, uh, journalists have been denied uh, their cameras, Facebook and Twitter have been uh, denied them. Uh, so the government has responded and it's basically responded in a way uh, to intimidate and not allow really these uh, protesters to move forward peacefully. In fact, they're monitoring the situation very, very closely. They said the president uh, has requested multiple briefings. In fact, he's just had one, another one, uh, just a short time ago. Um, what he did do, though, the spokesman, was uh, draw attention, though, to what uh, President Obama has been saying, which has been this kind of um, following, a, trying to follow a fine line. On the one hand, saying that President Mubarak has been a long time a key ally of the United States, but also saying that they support universal rights. And I think what was interesting was that the spokesman also highlighted uh, President Obama's speech two years ago in Cairo, in which uh, he spoke up for the need for greater democracy across the Arab world. The United States has a close partnership with Egypt, and we've cooperated on many issues, including working together to advance a more peaceful region. <laughs> لما أصفرت عنه من ضحايا أبرياء من المتظاهرين وقوات الشرطة I want everyone to know that uh, Mubarak is a killer and he has to go Mubarak must go for a vacation or a rest in Sharm el Sheikh, and that certainly is not what they just heard. And we know that, uh, that President Mubarak has already left Cairo, that he is in Sharm el Sheikh, and uh, mm. we understand there's uh, the statement continues. Let's let's listen in here. President Mohammed Hosni Mubarak has decided to step down as president of Egypt and has assigned the higher council of the armed forces to run the affairs of the country. And that was it. Hazim Mubarak, for almost 30 years, the one man who ruled Egypt has now officially stepped down. That statement coming from the office of the presidency. Ben Wiedemann, uh, who has covered this story uh, for not just years, but decades. Ben, I've got to hear your thoughts right now and hear about the reaction. Well, Jim, you see the reaction just in front of me. What we saw was one man was on his phone. He shouted out, the president has resigned, and the crowd 
went wild, cheering, shouting. This is a moment uh, that many of these protesters uh, have been waiting for for years. It's a truly historic moment, the first time in modern history that you have an Egyptian president voluntarily resign, of course, voluntarily, uh, under intense pressure uh, from the Egyptian street. And what's amazing, Jim, is that it was only 17 days ago, January the 25th, Tuesday, when the first demonstrations broke out uh, in Cairo that really heralded the beginning of the end uh, for President Hosni Mubarak, who's been in power, as you said, since October 1981. Let's listen to the crowd.